We are back in the Diecast Museum today, and what have I got to show you today? Well, it's Jurassic Park themed. How you doing there, Nina? She's checking out everything that I just picked up at a certain big box store in my area. And yeah, I went a little crazy when I saw Jurassic Park on clearance, as well as a few other things. Got a bit of Lego in there, Jurassic Park themed, Star Wars, a few really cool diecast cars. I've got a sealed box of Matchbox that are all Jurassic Park themed that I've been meaning to check out with you guys. It is all under here. So many cool vehicles. Now these are not very expensive and I think most of these have been clearanced by now. You might still be able to get them but this is a sealed box I've been wanting to open up. And what better excuse than a Jurassic Park clearance. Looks like Nina's a little tangled up right now. I think the dinosaurs have more to fear from the feline Nina than they do of each other. Certainly there's some pretty big monsters in here. Well, I am no stranger to Jurassic Park. I'm a longtime fan of this movie and franchise. And although I've never partaken in collecting action figure scale Jurassic Park dinosaurs, I decided to pick up a whole bunch of these. Now, I don't really know much about them, nor am I going to go on with too much information in fact almost none however i can say that these are highly posable and each of them appears to or quite a few of them anyways have electronic sounds which are pretty realistic and i will demonstrate all that as we get into the video this is not a jurassic park dinosaur review video in fact it's more of a die cast review video these are the 164 scale die cast jurassic park series trucks that have been released in 2022. Well, there's a motorcycle and a few other interesting vehicles. But you know what? They are a really nice scale next to the Jurassic Park dinosaurs, um, which are to be played with generally with the action figures available. I didn't buy really any of those other than a couple that came with one of the dinosaurs. But these little 164 scale or approximate vehicles are actually about the right scale, far more so than the um, plastic vehicles that come with the three and three quarter inch figures for these dinosaurs. You can imagine a lot of these vehicles trying to outrun these massive, uh, what is this, a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Or is that even a real, yes, that's the Tyrannosaurus Rex. We got the Thrash and Devour T Rex here for short. Uh, chomp, chomp, chomp with a bunch of cool sound effects. Wow, that thing's wicked. And you can just imagine a little Jeep just, you know, getting chomped in its giant jaws. So that's kind of what we're looking at today. And we're going to open that up. It's going to have a whole bunch or of these vehicles in here are really similar. Certainly some of them will be featured. Some really cool ones, I might add. Got the uh, 14 Mercedes-Benz G550 G-Wagon. And we've got the infamous 93 jeep wrangler we all remember newman i believe it was newman going off the road in one of these things perhaps that was from uh dominion though yeah this is a dominion jeep similar jeep that uh newman went off the road in that was in an earlier jurassic park movie then we've got the 89 jeep wagoneer really cool die cast truck that i believe came out in the main line in the non-jurassic park or jurassic world dominion set just main line so lots of cool dinosaurs here to check out these were clearanced at walmart they were 15 dollars canadian regular i was able to get them for seven dollars so less than 50 percent off uh there was one jurassic park lego set that was clearance at 30 percent off uh it's a four plus set nothing great but came with this big old dinosaur here and a few others so all these smaller ones were 50 percent off the bigger ones were about 30% off. So I bought one of each. Not really sure why I'm collecting these, but I figured, you know what? They're going to be really cool scale with these 164 scale trucks that I knew I had and wanted to review with you guys for a long while now. So the ultimate purchase was the T-Rex. Unfortunately, it was not on sale. $70 Canadian, but what a toy, guys. What a toy. And uh, for an adult boy like me, that's just a beautiful toy. As are these other dinosaurs. I do believe there's quite a few to choose from in the long line of Jurassic Park toys. But uh, this is what they had at Walmart. So I picked up 
one of each. Some of these I can't even pronounce. Like, I don't know what is going on here, but pretty cool stuff. They all have movable features, sound features, and some sort of cellular new age device attachment hookup sort of thing. I don't know. We're not looking at any of that stuff. What we are looking at is die cast. Little slice upon each tape seam. And what have we got in here, guys? What have we got in here? Wow, it's just stuffed full of Matchbox. And that is going to be my favorite one right there. I can tell you that right now. I'm going to go for that one right away. Yes, sir. That's the one you want. Oh, wow. Love it. The old original. The OG Ford Explorer. Zero 05 from Jurassic Park. I believe number one film, the 93 Ford Explorer. Very cool. We're not going to look at the back of these packages because it's all cardboard, but wow, there's the OG Ford Explorer with the transparent roof element. And you can just imagine this truck getting stomped on by the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Just getting smushed. Well, hopefully not because the kitties are probably in there. The kitties are probably in there. Not, not the Nina kitty, but the other kitties. What else we got in here? Let's go for this one. It looks interesting. I have no idea what's in this box, guys. It's been sitting here for so long. Oh, my goodness. Did Matchbox actually release this? An 86 Ford F-150? Are you kidding me? This thing is awesome. Check it out. What an amazing paint combo. Very realistic. Holy smokes. I had no idea. Good job, Matchbox. Well, good job, Mattel, for making such cool series to collect. And uh, we're going to continue on through here. Now, I see some other vehicles you've already seen, such as the G-Wagon. Let's take a closer look at that. For official use only, it says on the door. It's got the push guard. Nicely uh, scaled and very realistic. G-Wagon. So that's definitely going to be up there in my faves. What's this one? Okay, that's the Jeep. 93 Jeep Wrangler number 10 with the muddy uh, livery on the hood and sides showing a little bit of off-road action. Not super thrilled about the red chrome rims though to be quite honest and the non-matching gray plasticky spare but still for a $1 toy at the time pre super inflation that was pretty cool. I think these are probably going to be a bit more nowadays post uh september 2022 now into uh q1 of 2023 looking at some hyper inflation on everything so everything going up massively in price hot was approaching two dollars canadian there's a motorcycle let's keep it positive and happy guys speed striker motorbike Again, with the Tyrannosaurus Rex chomping down, which we have right here, guys. You can almost picture that happening. And we got a glimpse of this one earlier, the 18 Jeep Wrangler. Very cool. It's a dual two-door Biosyn. I love the movie vehicles, and they really do look amazing with this collection in the background. We've got a second Jeep. Now, this one is the non-muddy roll cage version from... That's a 93 as well. Red. Let's just do a side-by-side. -side. Red spoked rims versus the chrome spoke rims. So, part of me thinks these are... Yeah, basically the same casting. Different accessories. This one has a different interior with the... Storage box, toolboxes on it as well. They really should have just kept the rims red instead of going with the chrome red. My opinion, my humble opinion. I love this casting though. Nothing wrong with that. Certainly not going to detract me from collecting them. Should I come across a few more in the uh, future, which I don't imagine I will because I think these have been pretty much sold out at this point. Uh, it's kind of like I said, a 2022 release, and we are looking at this Q1 2023 Rapid Rescue Copter. It's a helicopter of sorts, perhaps a drone of some kind. I don't know. 
I think that was in the movie, but I don't know exactly where. There's so many cool Jurassic Park movies. And I like my movies. They all kind of blur together at times. We've got the um, Capture Action Vehicle. Probably one of my least favorites. I don't really remember this one. And it looks kind of silly. But here it is. Definitely a fave. The 89 Jeep Wagoneer. I think that was in the intro of the Dominion movie. On their way, on the kids were on their way to the airport or something like that to get ready to go to Jurassic Island for the ultimate trauma experience. And uh, speaking of that, here's this really cool gyrosphere, all plastic toy in the 164th ish lineup. Still pretty cool. I've got a couple of these in my collection. I wasn't super thrilled at it. It's kind of like, you know, super lightweight but it actually is functional you can see the seats always are uh in the proper orientation with gravity no matter what you do other than going this way because it wasn't designed for that this little movie action piece is highly realistic and really well built for a dollar basically so pretty cool we're gonna do a little something with that and all these other vehicles probably will be heading back to Toys R Us to buy the Brontosaurus. Was the Brontosaurus the Brachiosaurus? I don't have that one. It was huge. And a few others. But, you know, Amazon got me covered on a lot of the other dinosaurs. Should I need to find them? Looking for sales only, of course. But this is the collection so far. Looking back into my archives of diecast, I was able to find what I thought were duplicates of the current models that we're looking at today so that I'd have some openers of my absolute favorites, that being the 93 Ford Explorer, the 93 Jeep Wrangler, and well, I found that there are some discrepancies in that there are actually different releases of the same vehicles. So you can see by the packaging artwork, here we have a 2022 release and a former release from a previous year. Mud splattered 93 Explorer. Same sort of decorations, same chassis, same wheels, almost the same paint job entirely, except with that mud splatter on it and a totally different artwork. So I'm not going to be opening up either of these iconic vehicles. This one's from 2018. Or in the copyright and this one says 2021 you could add a year realistically for availability uh for this where is it yeah that's not it okay we've got a few different generations of the jeep wrangler uh the 93 let's say so the most recent was the one with the big tyrannosaurus rex monster bite there it is and uh, also released very similar. In fact, I would almost say identical is number 18 from this Matchbox Metal series in 2019. Copyright up there. So, two years apart. Looks to be the same truck, almost identically, but I won't know for sure. Until I really scrutinize them and check the base for differences. But so far as I can as I can tell, same vehicle. All the same. I'm not opening them up just right now. Even though this is a Jurassic Park themed video. And this would be the time, theoretically, to open my Jeeps. I just got too much stuff here on the go. And I like the packaging. It's very movie eccentric. And I want to keep it as such till I figure out what I have. Because I have a feeling I have some hidden away in a box somewhere so we'll go back even farther and we're going to look at the mud splattered version of this jeep same jeep exactly as the 2019 version with mud splattering so far as i can tell the interior is a different color we've got light gray here and dark gray on this one what year is it uh copyright 2018 so one year earlier than this one and already i've just seen a difference in addition to the mud splatter, totally different packaging once again. Let's get all three side by side in order of release. Newest on the left and oldest on the right. 
I thought I had, or at least I can't find, previous release for this little thing. The Gyrosphere. I know that they were released in mass quantity in years gone by. Whether I picked up any at that time, I'm not sure. I don't know if they had this actual little gimbal in them. It allows them to swivel around. Maybe that's why I wasn't really super enthused at the time. I'm not saying I don't have them. I just have too many die casts to know where I put it at this point. So we're going to move right along because I don't want to get hung up on that. And the main purpose of this video was to show you currently available, or at least recently available, Matchbox 164 scale die cast from Mattel. And I think we've done that. I am going to open up some dupies, some duplicates of the ones I have right now, because why not? Show you guys what we got here. Got the Cherokee. We've got the Wrangler JK two door. We got the G Wagon, and I found a third one of those. So we're gonna definitely opening up one, if not two of those. The Muddy Jeep. Oh, look, I've got two of those. Okay, so we can at least open up a Muddy Jeep and hopefully consume it with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And we got this T Rex over here as well, or Allosaurus. So first of all, we've got the giant Tyrannosaurus Rex, and of course we can put the uh, Jeep, now that it's opened up and out of the package, really cool, kind of weathered mud effect on this vehicle, and I like those little cargo boxes on the back. There it is, the Jeep is in its mouth, wow. Yeah, that looks a little bit big, though. I think we'll try that in the other Tyrannosaurus Rex and see if that looks a little more appropriate. Now, this Tyrannosaurus Rex doesn't have the sound, I don't think. It's got this kind of wound damage button showing its internal organs if distressed. But it does have an opening mouth. We can put the Jeep in its mouth as well. So I'm not sure. Does that look better? It's not really that much different, but the head is actually about, oh, I'd say 30% uh, smaller than this other Tyrannosaurus Rex. So I'm not really sure if these two dinosaurs are supposed to be the same one in the movie. Just different uh, models, different scales for the toys, or what? Let me know in the comments if you guys know. I am curious. So we'll just take a look at everything else. I really like the G-Wagon. Now these are all metal on plastic and the dinosaurs beyond the T-Rex I really don't think are the right scale but we'll show their uh, their kind of cool yeah they are pretty cool I mean heck if I if I had a lot of space to store and display these and in infinite money maybe I would end up maybe I would end up keeping everything but at this point in time I'm just really not sure that's such a good idea. This one does not have sound. They're very poseable. I mean, I'm not sure if this is made with elastic bands or how they do that, but it's really pretty cool. I don't think this is the right scale, honestly. These are probably more three and three quarter inch minifigure scale. We have one more dinosaur that might be the right scale, and that is the Allosaurus. What does it do? I think it's just got the wound damage again. Oh no, that's wrong. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that looks pretty neat as well. And uh, what have we got going on here? Oh my goodness, that's quite a gory wound. So, how does that come back up? Well, it's hard to do one-handed, but there we go. Yeah, so lots of uh, <laughs> lots of moving features on these dinosaurs, I have to say. don't remember them being this poseable back in the old days. The Triceratops is cool, but it's completely the wrong scale for die casts, now that I think of it. Completely wrong. It does have sound. It's a little bit more tame. Well, here again, I said I wasn't reviewing the uh, dinosaurs, but we are looking at some of the cool things that happen with these. And then these little ones that were on sale, which really got me started, they just have the damage as well. But uh, yeah, those are like G.I. Joe scale. So we'll continue looking at the vehicles. We've got the little motorcycle. 
Nice little die cast metal piece. And so that's pretty cool. We have the Jeep Wrangler JK. Or not JK, sorry, just the two-door. Well, it is a JK, it's just not... Uh, no, JK is four-door. That's right. This is just the... Uh, I, I'm confused now. As a Jeep owner, I'm, con I'm confusing myself. That's a little odd. Got the 89 Wagoneer. Really nice little casting. Probably more like 175th scale, though, because these trucks are pretty big in real life. So I don't really think these are to scale, although I could be wrong. It just it doesn't quite look right, does it? Either way, Matchbox doesn't claim to be scale accurate. I mean, back in the day, they used to have the scale on the bottom of every Matchbox vehicle, but they've since stopped doing that, I've noticed, a long time ago. Here we have the Jeep Gladiator. And uh, it's pretty neat. Lots of uh, overlanding equipment on it. So that's going to sum up the video, guys. That's all we're doing with it for now. And on to something new. We'll see you in the next video. As always, happy hunting.